Piep. 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 Hi friends, welcome to episode 8 of Pastor Eric's Enjoyable Points. I'm so glad you're here today and I hope that you had an awesome Easter celebration. I know for me it was very different than any Easter I've ever celebrated, but it was still good and we made some happy memories. So I hope that's true for you and I hope you're still celebrating that Jesus is alive. Now today I want to talk about problem solving. Now I'm sure some of you have had problems that you had to figure out. Sometimes it's in math class or at school, but sometimes in our lives we have problems. So we're going to be looking in the Bible and the book of Daniel chapter 1. Now Daniel had just been chosen to be a servant to the king. It was a very, very special honor. And it wasn't just him by himself. He also had some of his friends with him. Now we know these three friends as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But do you know that they were given other names by one of the king's officials? You should look it up in verse 7 of chapter 1 and see what they are. I won't even try to pronounce them because it's pretty crazy. So Daniel and his three friends had been made servants to the king. Now you may be asking, what was the problem? That sounds like a great thing. Well, it was a great thing, but the king had provided certain food and drink for all of these servants to take and to eat. And Daniel did not think the king's food and drink was very good or honoring to the Lord to eat and drink. And so he refused the king's food. Do you see the problem now? You can't say no to the king. And the king's official was like, I just need to warn you, if you do this, it's going to be a problem for you. And it's going to be a problem for me, the official was saying. Both of us might die. And so Daniel had a choice to make. He could follow the king and do a wrong thing, not honor the Lord. Or he could do what is best, follow God, but then he might die. So I want us to do an experiment to help us see how Daniel solved his problem. So in this experiment, you need some supplies. Okay, now you can see I have some supplies, so I'm going to pause to let you get those. The supplies are water. Now I've colored mine blue, so you don't have to use Kool-Aid, but I did mine blue so you could see it better. You're going to need a towel, and you're going to need six cups. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm going to pause to let you do that. You're supposed to pause on my face so it looks funny on the screen. Are you getting the supplies? Okay, good. I hope that you got the supplies. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this pitcher of water and we're going to have two empty cups. So the first two cups are going to be empty. And then we're going to have three full cups. So I'm going to pour water in this cup very carefully. If I make a spill, I have my towel to blot it up. But I don't make spills. All right, so that's one full and then I'm going to pour in the next one. You getting this? I'm not even looking now. Oh, should look. Okay, there we go. And then the third full cup. Isn't this water pretty? All right, so we have two empty cups, three full cups, and the last one is empty. So get your cups just like this, and then the problem that you have to solve, the challenge is to get the cups from this to this. Full, empty, full, empty, full, empty. But you can only move one cup. What? How is that possible? Well, that's what you have to figure out. But before you get to it, keep listening for a moment. I want for us to act, think about what do you do when you have a problem? What can you do in your life when you encounter a problem? What should you do? Now, I'm not talking about a cup and water problem, a problem in your life that happens. Maybe we're thinking about the coronavirus. That's a problem that's going on. Not being able to go see friends and family or whatever the problem may be. What do you do? Well, we should go to God. We can pray. We can read the Bible. These are all excellent ways that we should solve our problems because we may not know what to do, but God does. Now, Daniel and his friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, chose to follow God's rules. They didn't choose to obey the king. They chose to obey God. So what they did is they asked the king's official if they could do a 10-day test. Daniel said, 
Let the other servants eat the king's food, and me and my friends will eat our food, the food that is honoring to God, and we'll do it for 10 days. At the end of the 10-day test, we'll see who's healthier. Well, the official said, okay, I'll do that. I'll let you do a 10-day test. And so for 10 days, Daniel and his friends ate the good stuff, and the other servants ate the king's food. And at the end of the 10-day test, Daniel and his friends were healthier. They were stronger, and their bodies were in better shape than the other servants who ate the food. And so the king changed his food, and everybody started eating Daniel's food, and they were all honoring the Lord. So God gave wisdom to Daniel and his friends, and their choices to follow God changed the other people and the way the king did things. It's pretty awesome they got wisdom from God. So I want to read a couple verses that talk about wisdom. In Daniel chapter 1, verse 17, it says, As for these four youths, God gave them learning and skill in all literature and wisdom, and Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. And then in James chapter 1, verse 5, it says, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. So if we lack wisdom, God says right here in the Bible to ask him, and he will give it. Pray for wisdom. When you have a problem, ask God to give you wisdom, and he will do it. So what problem are you facing? What's difficult in your life right now? Ask God for wisdom, and he will give it. So I want to pray, and then we'll talk a little bit more about this. So pray with me. God, I thank you that you promised to give us wisdom when we need it. We have problems, God. Right now, there's many things going on that we don't know what to do. And so I pray you'd give us wisdom. And I pray we'd remember to ask for wisdom when we're struggling. Thank you for showing us in the life of Daniel how you gave him wisdom, and he made a wise choice. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. So now you need to solve this problem. If you figure it out, how to do this by only moving one cup, then I want you to send me an email, eric at erlangerbaptist.org. However many people get it right, I will put those names in a bag and draw the winner out, okay? Now, if you submit an answer and it's not right, you're not going to go in the bag. Only the ones that are correct, okay? And so I need you to submit those emails to me by Saturday, April 18th. That's the deadline. And then on Sunday, April 19th, I will solve it. I'll show you in peep number nine how to make this work. Okay? And then next Wednesday, April 22nd, I'll reveal the winner of the box of peeps. That's what you're going to win. Exciting stuff. All right? So I hope you'll do it. I hope you'll have fun solving the problem. Good luck, and I can't wait to see you. I love you, friends. Bye.